Hi guys, welcome to day 20 of Advent. Today is another viewer question and it is another question from Vegan Bunny Mama on Instagram. She sent a lot of questions and I love them. Uh, her question is, what was the first book you wrote? Childhood ones count. So I can't tell you the first book I ever wrote because I can't be for sure of that. But I can tell you the first one I remember writing and I feel like that's fair enough. So the first book I remember writing was in junior high and it wasn't for like a project or anything. It just was something that I was working on because it was a story that I liked and just had a very imaginative mind as a child. I actually live on the same property that I lived on as a kid. I live in a different house now than what I did then um, and I live in a different area of the property than when I lived then but I still live in the same area. Closer to where I lived at before there was this old site of um, a cabin that had collapsed at some point and there was like an old well house outside and just I've always been very inspired by nature and so the first story that I wrote was me uh, imagining traveling back in time. I mean I'm sure it was like Mary Sue self-insertion for sure because I was like 11 and didn't know how else to write but basically you know the main character is walking through the woods outside of their house and they find a fairy circle which back then I didn't know what fairy circles were but I had one in my backyard so <laughs> that's creepy because I based the fairy circle in the story off of the fairy circle that was in the backyard but I digress <laughs> they went through this fairy circle and it traveled them back in time to when this cabin and well house and everything was um, just like freshly built and was freshly done and was um, you know there was a family living there and everything was like cool calm collected happy all that jazz and the story revolved around there being like these bad things that were happening in her present time and so she was trying to since she was able to travel back in time and she could travel back between the two time periods but no one else could travel with her no one questioned that she was wearing weird clothes because you don't think about that at 11 either uh, so she was using that and the traveling back in time to see like what had happened in the past that was creating bad things from happening in the future as far as like a family curse or something like that and so it was basically this 11 12 year old child trying to overcome a family curse and overcome this negative energy that was in her present day life by changing things that happened to this family in the past and essentially it came down to like there were um there actually is a grave there are gravestones outside of the the old cabin and I'm fairly certain that two of them are small children um just by the grave marker and so part of it was that was that there was like a woman and the two children had died and um the husband had somehow been involved in that and he ended up killing himself like I was a very dark and disturbed 11 year old and so basically somehow he killed his family or something that he did created his family to die and then he killed himself and like that was what created the family curse apparently there must have been another child somewhere because otherwise how would you have a family curse I don't know I'm, I vaguely remember these details so you'll forgive me if I am not you know I've probably got some plot holes here uh <laughs> But eventually it comes to like the modern day girl figuring out how to prevent things from happening that had happened in the past and she knew for sure that she had fixed it because when she went back into present day though there was no one living in the cabin at that time it was um, like the final time she crossed the, through the fairy circle and it no longer existed um, she was able to go back to the cabin site and though it was not you know pristine and beautiful it was in much better condition than it had been in her original timeline and there were no longer gravestones outside of the cabin so it was a very dark and morbid child but also in a way like was I trying to write a happier ending for these people possibly I don't really know because I don't know how they died they're just there theoretically because you know it's not like you're digging up old gravestones outside of old houses that have collapsed on your farm property uh, they could be pets I don't know like I, I honestly don't know <laughs> what they are my young child brain went a woman and two children obviously so 
there's that. Um, yeah, that's the oldest slash first thing that I remember writing, so. Cool. Which brings us to day 20 of our creator spotlight, and today is... Madam Chaos herself, Charlotte Armstrong. So Charlotte is a writing-centered channel, but she does do some reading things as well. She does a lot of vlogging, a lot of live streaming. She has a knitting book club, so like, they read a book, and they knit, and they discuss the book, and she's literally just general chaos. Like, uh, sometimes you'll be watching a live stream, and she's like, hey, I'm gonna shave my head, and she shaves her head, or hey, I'm gonna dye my hair, and she dyes her hair, or hey, I'm gonna do this, or hey, I'm gonna do that. Charlotte is the queen of chaos. Uh, she's general chaos, if you will. And so I just, I, she's really fun. I love watching her channel. I love interacting with her in comments or in chats. And she's just, she is a hoot and a half and I highly recommend her to you. That's going to be it for me today. If you don't want to miss anything going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. How many times this month are you going to hear me say that? Probably a lot and a few more. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.